This is the continuation of the previous class that is the chapter pressure of physics and I mapped this pressure chapter into 15 different points according to the syllabus of class 10 and we are now starting with point number 12 because till 11 I taught in previous class now we are discussing about 12 and 13 that is series and at airport. Now let's start with series. What is series? Series is a device which is based on the principle that the fluid flows from a region of high pressure to the region of low pressure and is used in medical purpose. This may be the definition of series or introduction of series. But what is the meaning of this uh, fluid flows from a region of high pressure to low pressure? If pressure is high at certain place in air and nearby it, if pressure is low at another place, then air blows from high pressure region to low pressure region. The same is with water also and other liquid also. If there is variation of pressure, nearby each other or uh, two places and they are close to each other then if we create a variation of pressure then uh, the fluid that is liquid or gas flows from the high pressure region to low pressure region. Now I want to show you a diagram of syringe. If you are told to draw a diagram of syringe you can draw this diagram this way. Simple representation of the diagram of syringe Look at this, it has got three parts. One is hollow needle, which is at the tip. Another is a storage cylinder, which is also called barrel. And another is piston, which moves forward and backward, being very close to the inner wall of a storage cylinder. It means if there's something inside it, whether it is air or it is liquid, it can push that air or liquid in front side because it's, uh, it is in very close contact with the inner wall. This may be the uh, simple representation of the diagram of series. Now, how it works? Actually, series utilizes the atmospheric pressure to pull liquid medicine inside it. The mechanism can be explained with the help of this diagram. Look at this diagram. When this piston is pulled backward, then what happens, the region in front of the piston, that is this region of the storage cylinder, becomes, becomes big. What it means? Its volume increases. Uh, increase of volume decreases the pressure inside it and pressure of um, fluid inside this uh, storage cylinder becomes very less than the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of liquid medicine. And because of this high atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of the liquid medicine, liquid medicine enters into this space which has low atmospheric pressure or very less pressure. This way, liquid flows from high pressure region to low pressure region. In this principle, this liquid medicine is filled into the cylinder. Now, I am uh, I'm talking about the use of the syringe. Now I want to show you the real syringe which we can get easily in the medical shop. I am going to show you, look at this, what I told you just now. Uh, this is the hollow needle of the syringe. Here it is. And um, behind this, here we have a storage cylinder. It is marked also to measure the volume of the liquid medicine and here we have this uh, piston which can be pushed forward and which can be pulled backward. This is the real uh, syringe. It is used in, uh, it is used for different purpose, for first purpose. I I'll tell you later the purpose of use of syringe but uh, now I want to show how it works whatever I uh, told you in this diagram, let's say this is liquid medicine, then what we do, uh, this tip of the hollow needle is if inserted into it and if it is pulled upward this way, then what is seen, look at this, it is being filled, the storage cylinder is being filled, look at this part is filled with this uh, water, at this time I am taking water but actually mm, we will take liquid medicine into it and 
the tip of this hollow needle is when inserted into the skin skin and it is pushed when piston is pushed then liquid medicine comes out this way it works and the working is very simple when it is pulled this way the atmospheric pressure acting on the surface of this uh, let's say liquid medicine makes it uh, to go in, inside the storage uh, storage cylinder and when it is inserted into the skin and pushed then what happens the pressure in this uh, liquid medicine becomes more than the body pressure and that's why uh, the liquid medicine is inject injected into the body this way it works now let's talk about uh, the use if you are told to write the use of uh, syringe then you can say number one uh, it is used uh, to insert I mean to say inject liquid medicine into the body of the patient number two it is used to take blood sample from the body of the patient these are the major use now let's talk about the air pump what is air pump Air pump is a device which is based on the principle that the air flows from a region of air blows from a region of high pressure to a region of low pressure and it is used to fill up the air into different balls uh, air bags and uh, into the tire of bicycle now how it looks like what is this construction and how it works i'm going to show you with the help of diagram okay if you are told to draw a neat diagram of air pump you can draw this type of diagram uh, the first one because the uh, second one the i i made this for um, explanation one of them you can make and you can label like this now how many parts are there uh, in air pump basically we have two parts one is this barrel another is piston and this piston has got a washer in front of it at the tip of it which comes in very close contact with inner wall of the barrel and when this handle is pushed or pulled then uh, this washer also moves along with the uh, piston and um, forward and backward movement is achieved now this is piston barrel washer now look at this the uh, front side this tip of this uh, air pump what I am showing here may not be present in an air pump it may be present in the ball where we are going to fill the air or it may be present in the bicycle tube where we are going to fill uh, the air into that only this part may be present just like in bicycles uh, the air pump uh, this handle moves up and down very easily because this part is missing and this is in uh, tube of the bicycle okay whatever it is we can make here also uh, to explain very properly now this tip part I mean to say the front side has got one metal ball and it is designed in such a way that it is hollow metal ball very light when it moves backward it can close this inlet of air into the barrel but when it is pushed forward then it cannot close the outlet of the air from this nozzle because there is um, there is a screen or something uh, some net like structure in the front side which cannot be covered by this metal ball all the part cannot be covered by this metal ball that's why this is the checkpoint where air can not enter into it but air can move out of it now how it works whenever we pull the handle of this air pump backward then what happens the space of this part i mean to say barrel the space of the barrel in front of the washer increases it means volume increases that's why air pressure decreases and since air pressure is less so air tends to enter into it from the tip and from the back side also from the tip when air tries to enter into it then metal ball is pushed backward it closes this entrance of air into the barrel that's why air cannot enter from the front side but 
when the <clears throat> when it is pulled backward the air pressure in this side i mean to say back side of the water is also high air pressure at the back side of water is uh, back side of water is high that's why uh, it pushes this water from its edge and it enters into this uh, barrel because this is somewhat umbrella like and can be pushed from backside and that's why air enters into this region which is in front of the water now air is filled now secondly when the handle is pulled pushed forward then what happens the volume of the barrel i mean to say the volume of the barrel in front of the water decreases when volume decreases pressure increases now air tends to move out from the nozzle also it, it tends to move backward also but in backward side look at this at the side um, back side air pressure uh, opens the washer uh, like umbrella and the edges of the washer comes in close contact with the inner wall of the barrel and that's why it doesn't allow air to go out from back side but this air pressure pushes this metal ball front side and the metal ball cannot cover the whole part of the nozzle and that's why air comes out from the nozzle this way it works in this class i described about the syringe and air pump uh, a little detail in next class we'll continue with uh, water pump uh, this must follow